uh, um, my my question is about the literature and tourism in Romania. When, when I uh, heard about Romania, whenever I I heard about Romania, it comes to my mind about the Dracula from Bram Stoker, <laughs> this famous novel. Yes. Yeah, uh, one day I'm gonna read it. <laughs> so what is the relation between this um, character uh, like the Dracula? And uh, we know that the, the this is um, uh, a legend that comes from a famous tyrant that lived in the 19th century called Vlad III. Vlad III was a the the impaler. He was a tyrant, yes, and we see that there is a, a castle. I'm gonna share my screen so you can tell us what is this castle that is so famous that people go to Romania to see that they say that the the, the famous castles of uh, uh, Count Dracula. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, I know the castle, but first of all. You have to know that all the stuff which are right now, they have a marketing behind. You know, there is a, a marketing behind. It means Brian Stoker just built some uh, brand for us. The mm -hmm. reality is that this Dracula, the Vlad Dracula, uh, he was like uh, punishing all the bad people. And from there, also, if you see the dark green on the map, over there is like a border. It was to used to be a border. The dark, you see the dark green? Over there are the mountains. Yeah. And here. this castle, it's close to Brasov. And what's happened, all these like uh, kings from uh, this other side, outside this uh, border, they have like a domains in uh, inside of the mountains and this castle was his castle and uh, anyway it was like a famous because also over there was like a border point you know checkpoint to get to the other side of the mountains yes this is a castle yes this is a castle <laughs> and anyway it's like a tourism okay if you have something you have to push it and you have to get some tourists. If you go this Saturday on this castle, you're going to wait in the queue for about 30 minutes, one hour to get to, to visit a medieval castle. But uh, it's a good uh, marketing for us. Oh. This is traditional oh. and also it's like a, it's like a sausage without, uh, without sausage. This is usually during the the weekends, people, they go there and make the grill outside the city, sometime home, they invite the friends. It is made with uh, what kind of meat, like pork meat or It's like or... Uh, pork, uh, beef, and uh, the best are with uh, the sheep meat. Oh, sheep meat. Mutton, mutton. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's something that we in Brazil we don't eat that often, or am I mistaken? Do you eat sheep meat in Brazil? I don't think we eat that in Brazil. Am I mistaken? Can I, can no, it, it no, 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 no. Lamb. <laughs> we eat lamb. Lamb is delicious. Lamb, like but here. you also but eat it... the lamb and sheep. Yeah, the sheep you... is like a little bit older. <laughs> the mom of the sheep yeah, the mom the lamb. But you need to to know how to prepare. You know there is some spi uh, uh, spices. You know there is. Uh, uh, you need to know how to prepare in order to to get uh, a good taste. Can I ask you something? Yes. O que, que você acha da nossa língua portuguesa? What do you think about our Portuguese language? You know, I try to. I've been in Portugal a few times, but I, I don't understand. Which I don't understand too many words, and I don't understand this all these signs around the words, the letters. I don't understand them. But I was in Portugal. I understand the sign of the street, and in two days it means almost I got the the time in Portuguese, and I can manage. Is I'm not afraid to go in any Portuguese country or Spanish country, Italian country, French country. It means we are speaking French, because. Finally, I'm going to manage to speak with them. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask some personal questions? Yes. Are you married? And if so, do you have any kids? And also, I would like to know the city that you live in, Romania. I'm living in uh, what's happened. I'm from the small city close to that Brancaster, okay? Close in the same area. But uh, when I start my studies, I come to Bucharest where I make my undergraduate in accounting. After I finish the accounting, the name of the city is Fergarash. 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 It's F A. G A. A. For God. No. F A. F A. G. A. R. This one. Yes. Yes. It's a small city. But it's like 40 kilometers from Brancaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I come to Bucharest and I finish my undergraduate. After I finish my undergraduate, I was to the cruise ship. And when I come back from the cruise ship, yeah, this is a castle, six five hundred years. This is um, this is like a uh, close to that. Uh, this is the area, but it's all picture. Yes, it's a castle like a four hundred fifty years old, and this is a cathedral. Okay, I come to Bucharest. Right, right now I'm living in Bucharest. I have two kids. One is seven, one is ten. And it's really important when you go in your life. I, it's, this is my opinion. And you have to be, when you want to achieve with somebody, you have to be with somebody. Okay. This is big city, like a two million. It's not so big like a Sao Paulo, okay? I think Sao Paulo is bigger, bigger than the rest. This is two million people, but Sao Paulo, I think, is greater. Yeah, more bigger, than 10 million. Right? Ten, more than 10 million. Wow, you see? Yeah, beautiful city, by the way. Really this beautiful. is uh, like uh, its, its name, it's Little Paris. Oh, because Little Paris, the, the, the translation. Little Paris, little Bucharest, Paris. Bucharest, no, just no, Little... The name in, oh, in, uh, what, what, is, no... what is the meaning of Bucharest in Romania? It's not the meaning. Uh, the meaning is uh, somebody. Somebody. It was a shepherd, shepherd. Mm -hmm. Five, uh, six, in, six hundred years ago, was a shepherd the name Bukur. Mm -hmm. Bukur. And he was here with his uh, ship around the around this area of Buc Bucharest, and from his uh, name he came the name of the city. Oh, it, interesting! It was in the in the time of Dracula Kingdom, <laughs> when the city yeah. was uh, built, was in the Dracula Kingdom in that time. Oh. Very interesting. And it was only uh, some monastery around the city. It was a monastery. And around that monastery, he was uh, built a city. Okay. There Thank is you. in the center of Bucharest, it's a monastery, and which was on the river. And from that monastery, which was built all this city. Great. It's like a 500 years around this monastery. And that monastery is like a 550 years old. Oh. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very you. much. I Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.